All right, I just wanted to show you guys my latest crystal battery I'm working on. I'm calling this one the literal crystal battery because it literally is a crystal battery. I grow the crystals around the two electrodes, which in this case is copper and aluminum, and I grow them around the two electrodes. This is actually the first good one I made. I've, I've tried to make so many before this one. And this is the first one that actually came out decently okay. But there's one giant flaw I've got to consider. Um, I'm using the pipe cleaners or whatever they're called, that bill yellow thing, for the simple fact that it helps to uh, absorb the crystals much quicker. Uh, that's what I found out. Because before I was using string, that didn't work out too well. Um, it really helps out, but I forgot one important thing. This pipe cleaner has a metal, like steel or something, running through the middle of it. And what I did was I wrapped it around the aluminum first and I wrapped the, the, the pipe cleaner around the copper then and I forgot one important flaw. Metal on metal contact. So when I hooked it up to the meter after it was all grown up and all, I was getting no voltage for obvious reasons it was all being shorted out due to the metal inside the pipe cleaner. But yeah. But I'm making a new one which is over there. Uh, I'm going to improve on it. Um, we use hot glue or something to separate uh, the pipe cleaner metal from the other metals or something. Hmm. I gotta think about that, but that's when I show you guys this stuff because I thought it was pretty interesting because it literally is a crystal. It's a um, borax crystal. Uh, how you make it is quite simple. Uh, four cups. And then you add 12 tablespoons of borax and let it sit overnight. And it makes a pretty crystal. But I'm calling this the uh, literal crystal battery copper and aluminum electrodes. And yeah, which show you guys voltage, but this one's actually shorted out, so there's no voltage. But I'm working on a new cell, I'm trying to get a basis of voltage on it. But I have an idea because, um, to get more power of it, you have to make a poly polycrystalline structure, and I know how to do that. At least I think I know how to do it, but I'm going to find out. I just want to give you guys an update on this type of cell. I, th I thought it was pretty interesting. You can't get no, you can't get any more crystal battery than this. Very interesting. There you have it, folks. A literal crystal battery.